Did you see the original uh, British movie of Kinky Boots? Oh, my God. Over and over <laughs> and over. In fact, I saw it so much that when I saw those actors play different roles, I was really upset. Something deep inside was really, I said, no, that's Lola. Wait a minute. <laughs> and also, when I saw the guy play Charlie, I was like, he can't do that. You know, it was, it was actually, they're great actors, but I just, um, you know, I had become, I had watched it so many times that I became attached to those characters. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think, I think the movie was great. And when they said they're going to make a musical, I was like, okay, isn't it already a musical? But I didn't really, I mean, I just liked the movie and the shoes alone. And so, it, yeah, I could write about shoes. I love shoes, but it has to be more, uh, shoes have to be a metaphor. It can't be <laughs> just shoes, you know. Well, what it's really about is is that both of these people on opposite sides of the spectrum couldn't be more different. A lot of men grow up and feel that they could not live up to their father's expectation. You know, a lot of the words came from watching, you know, and watching my husband and my son, especially not my father's son, because you watch, you know, you watch the kid. He was in hockey when he was little. So you watch all of them come out like little Spartans. They got the helmets and the skates and the padding, and they look like Spartans. And then, of course, my mother-in-law told my husband once that he had the patience of Job, which he does. And just somehow those images came together and it became part of the lyrics that became part of the intimate, the, the bathroom. There's a little scene in the show and in the movie where they... Two men discuss their childhood with each other. Charlie's the main character. He's one of the guys, right? You're talking about Charlie Price. Yes, Charlie and Charlie Price and Lola, who is a drag performer. This one time, a man came into the theater with his family, and you could see that they must have had a fight or something. He was in a pissy mood, really bad. And I was watching him. And he was just sitting there and sitting there, crossing his legs, you know. And then there's Lauren's song, The History of Wrong Guys. <laughs> and she comes on and sings, and all of a sudden he starts to laugh. And I'm thinking, I got him. Wow. He's, now he's in. You know, because with music, you have an opportunity with rhythm and melody to pull at people's heart a little bit something a little familiar that will bring them into the story. And so that's what I mainly worked on. And the fact that when it didn't work, I, ch I had to change it because what was more important was the show and the story. Wasn't Kinky Boots based on a true story? Yes, it was. Um, there was a factory going under and they decided to make Kinky Boots and save the jobs in the factory. The thing about the show that I love is that it's based on that, but also that it's based on regular people and family. Your relationship with the people you work with day in and day out for most of your life, well, that's a family. And then there's your home family. But there, we have these families, and it kind of honors that, and it shows um, how people grow and evolve and everyone in this show including the bully evolves and in the end it's so happy i i think my favorite part is to see the people jump up at the end and <laughs> dance you know even when i'm in a rotten mood and i go i leave the theater happy so it, it, it's really an amazing thing all of us that came together to do this show. Just a happy pill, and I and I hope it makes everybody really happy. So if you want to go and feel happy, then go see Kinky Boots. Well, well, I know you've made America happy for the last 30-plus years, and uh, uh, Kinky Boots is coming to the Wharton Center here in East Lansing, May 26th through the 31st, and I wish you and your family would be here for it, but I know you probably got other stuff to do, but it'd be great if you guys were here. Oh, uh, Lansing's pretty in the summer, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 
I have a feeling it's just going to be boom, hot, <laughs> you know. But it's been a weird winter yeah. for, for New Yorkers anyway. So. <laughs> well, anyway. Well, Cindy, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And uh, continued success with Kinky Boots in your next project. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you very much. You too, Cindy.